my first deconstruction is on <coughs> Rise to Remains album City of Vultures. Um, so the way they've put the poster together here, they have the band name at the top and um, in their logo in huge writing. Um, the album name and when it's released is slightly smaller and then there is also a picture of the album uh, so you know what it looks like. In smaller writing under the album picture there's also um, the singles that they've released so far off the album. Um, this will be to attract people to buy the album as they know what they've heard already and they like it. But it's also not big enough um, to properly like advertise the album so they've made it a bit smaller. Um, around the whole poster they also have the band's autographs. This will again be used to um, attract fan attention. The uh, The background of the poster is black. This is again a very typical colour of the um, of the genre that Rise to Remain are in. Uh, and finally the small print at the bottom will just be like who's produced the album, like what record label they belong to. But mostly the uh, the most prominent feature is Rose to Remain's name as they want fans to see who it is. My second deconstruction is on Five Finger Death Punch album American Capit a Capitalist. Um, the first thing that springs to my mind about this album is the bright colours. This isn't very typical for the genre as normally it would be like full of blacks and colours um, like darker colours. But this time they've used quite a cartoony theme and um, use lots of bright colours. This could be just to like catch the eye and purely just attract attention um, to what they're trying to advertise. The next biggest thing on this um, is on this poster is the cartoon person right in the middle of it. Um, Five Finger Death Punch referred to this guy as uh, Knucklehead, and he's a recurring theme throughout all of their albums. This is like their band image uh, sort of thing. Underneath the man, um, you can see in big words starring, and in smaller print it gives a list of all the band members and what instruments they play. Um, this would be so like if anyone's just heard of one particular band member and they liked him then they could listen to the band after that. And underneath that there's also a um, a picture of each band member so like if a fan sees one or recognises them then it could also make them want to listen to the music. This album is called Neighbourhoods by a band called uh, Blink-182. So here the most prominent picture is um, the picture at the top which is the um, the picture on the album? So it's like it's the album's called Neighborhoods, and it's a big city with Blink 182 written in the um, in the roofs of the building. So that's a pretty uh, it relates to the album name well. So the picture relates to the uh, the name pretty well. Um, and then underneath that, um, there's two sets of writing. There's the larger writing and the smaller writing. So this would be like in terms of importance, which one was larger? The three bits of information written in the bigger writing are Neighbourhoods, which is the album name, Blink-182, which is the band, and the date of, um, the, the release date of the album. And then the, um, the smaller writing um, says that Neighbourhoods is the new album, um, and then the, uh, the next chunk says it features the song Up All Night, which is the first single. So again, this would be used to um, entice people who have heard the song before to come and buy the album, if they like the music. It's quite obvious why um, the three bits of larger text are writing um, just bigger because it's the most important bits of information you need to know and the others are sort of um, secondary information. Uh, underneath all of that you have on the far left you have the little uh, smiley face uh, that's the uh, Blink logo which is very noticeable and then you have like the, um, the Blink 182 website and then just like their album sponsors probably been written smaller than everything else because it's not really a vital part of um, advertising the album, it's just something else that fans can see.